In this ultimate tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to accurately model a metric hex nut and bolt in SolidWorks. With me today, we'll conquer the thread feature in SolidWorks for screw threads. And I'm gonna show you two different methods for how to accurately create those threads. We'll even ask ChatGPT which method is better so that you're not utterly frustrated and confused. Lastly, we'll hop into assembly mode where we're gonna do some advanced mechanical mates for securing the nut bolt assembly. We'll wrap up with a motion study analysis. Also for today's video giveaway, I'm gonna be giving out a secret mini course to one lucky winner. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment below, and share this video. We will first create the hex bolt in SolidWorks from the following drawing. It's an M10 standard size metric bolt with 1.5 millimeter pitch threads. The length of the threaded section is 55 millimeters with a 6.60 millimeter high hex head. The hex head of the bolt has a width of 17 millimeters. The material is medium strength class 8.8 .8 steel. Let's begin by creating a new part in SolidWorks. I'm going to start on the front plane sketch. And we're going to do polygon. Six points for the hex head of the bolt. Now, before we extrude, let's go ahead and lock it down. We're going to dimension 17 millimeters per the drawing for M10 size. Add a relation, select these two points with a vertical constraint. Now we are fully defined. So let's go ahead and extrude for the hex head of the bolt. Go outwards 6.6 .6 millimeters. Let's go ahead and specify our material now. Alloy steel will apply and close out. Next, we're going to select a face, start a new sketch with a circle. We're going to add a relation. First, let's do a convert entities on one of the edges here. How we can add relation. Do a tangent with the circle. Now let's go over to our features tab. We're going to do extruded cut. We're going to select this contour here. Flip side to cut. And we're going to add a draft as well. Turn the preview on, draft outward on, and we're going to see a nice preview of it. This is for the smooth chamfer of the hex head of the bolt. We'll bump this up to 55 degrees 
and hit OK. All right, so next we're going to start a sketch on this face here to draw our extrusion to add the threads. We're going to select circle from the origin outward and select OK. But before we dimension this diameter, it's not exactly going to be 10 millimeters. Going back to bolt principles, for an M10 by 1.5 millimeter size bolt, there's going to be charts for the major and minor diameter. Let's refer to the major diameter since we're going to be removing material for the threads. All right, I have the chart pulled up, engineersedge.com for external metric thread table chart. I'm going to try and include the link in the description, but you can see here it's a nice little diagram showing the principles around threads and the geometry. We're going to go ahead and go to M10 by 1.5. And you can see here we have our max major diameter at 9.968. So that's what we'll be using. We'll be going off of, if you go back to the top, Max major diameter, max minor diameter. We'll do the same thing for when we do internal threads, except for a separate chart for the nut. Back into SolidWorks now. We are going to now give this a dimension of 9.968 for the major diameter. We'll go ahead and extrude it now, 55 millimeters. And hit OK. All right, now that we've added the small chamfer underneath the bolt head, we are ready to add the bolt threads. This first method I'm gonna show you is the manual way of adding the realistic threads using a helical path, and then we're gonna manually draw the profile to do a swept cut. To set the helical path, we are going to first Add a plane on this edge of the chamfer. Select OK. We'll then start a new sketch. And we will convert entities for this edge. and exit sketch. Now we can go to curves, helix, and select that sketch. You'll see the helical path project in yellow. We're gonna do define by height and pitch, constant pitch, to change the pitch to 1.5 millimeter to match our specs, we'll enter that. You can see it update. And then for height, we'll just do a little bit longer than the 55. So we'll go out to 60 millimeters to have some run out. To sketch the closed loop for the profile of the threaded path, we'll have to revisit Shigley's mechanical design principles or metric thread profiles. You can see in this geometric diagram, 
we'll have to spec out the angles and the dimensions for the major and minor diameter segments as shown here. Now that we have all of the constraints and data to define our sketch for the profile, let's go ahead and draw that now. We're going to go to top plane and start a new sketch. Now that we have our closed thread profile and our helical path, we can now run our swept cut. We're going to go to the swept cut feature. We'll choose our sketch 11 here and our helical path. Gives us a nice preview and we'll hit OK. So that is the first method for creating bolt threads, more of a manual process. Let's now do a save as and I'll show you method two. So, for adding the thread feature, 
which was I believe added in 2016 and later we simply go to underneath whole wizard we go to thread here and it'll ask us to input some parameters we'll go ahead and select our starting edge which will be on this chamfer edge you'll see the pink outline preview for us we're gonna go ahead we'll keep it blind let's extend this out to 60 millimeters to give some run out And since we are cutting material to get that minor diameter, we will select metric die. We'll select our size. We keep it at M10 by 1.5. Notice that it identifies our diameter size here and our pitch. We're gonna cut away threads since we already set the major diameter in our previous extrusion. We'll keep it at right hand thread and we will select okay. You'll notice that looks kind of funky here. We can Go back and edit this feature if we want to to offset it this box here if we select this we can offset it a bit We'll be creating this hex nut in SOLIDWORKS from the following drawing as shown on the screen. The nut has an overall head width of 17 millimeters. Again, M10 by 1.5 millimeter threads and a head height of eight millimeters. So let's get started.
All right, plowing ahead with some of our basic features for the nut. Next, we're gonna make a plane for a mirror. We go to reference geometry and we'll add a mid plane by selecting both sides. By the way, if you need SolidWorks help in beginner courses, go to my website. I offer some courses for everyone there, as well as on my Patreon. Now that we have the plane created, we can do the mirror of our extruded cut from before. So let's do that. We're gonna go to our feature tree here. Features to mirror. And we will select the cut extrude. Next, we're going to go ahead and create a sketch on one of the faces here for our through hole. But before we can define the diameter of the through hole, we're going to look up now, this time, the internal metric threads chart for the max minor diameter of an M10 size hex nut, since we will be removing material. All right, back on engineersedge.com, metric internal threads for the nut size M10 1.5, we get a max minor diameter of 8.676. So let's go ahead and add a circle in our sketch and dimension it from the chart value. As the minor diameter to start with. Do the extruded cut now through all. And we'll add some quick chamfers to it. The first method for adding threads to the hex nut will actually start from the hex bolt file that we previously completed. So with this open, we'll insert, go to part, we'll select the nut, make sure that the locate part box is selected and we'll select it. Okay. Now it'll prompt us to locate the part. So we're going to first add a concentric mate by selecting these two edges. Hit add. Now we'll do the distance mate. We're going to select this upper face here and this lower face. And the distance will be the height of the hex nut minus the overall thread length. So it'll be 55 minus 8. And you can see it's now flush with the bottom and we will select OK. Once that's complete, we're going to go insert, 
features combine. Our main body that we're gonna keep is the hex nut. We're gonna combine the thread profile of the screw, subtract it, and hit OK. We now have our hex nut threaded using the combine feature. We'll go ahead and save as. For the second method, we're ready to add the thread feature, the newer tool in SolidWorks. By first, we want to modify the size of this hole because we are going to now add material for the threads. So we're going to start with the major diameter size for the M10 hex nut. We're going to make this slightly larger and then we're going to add material to achieve minor diameter. We can now go to the thread feature We'll select our edge here. We're now going to have this on metric die for extruding the thread. Right hand size, yep, M10 by 1.5 pitch. And we'll see what this gives us. We can adjust it to get rid of the excess material. Let's offset it here. opposite way and let's extend this out to trim excess material we can trim with start and end and you'll notice in the preview it looks much better And we're done. All right, we are now ready to begin our assembly mode with the advanced screw mate introduction. We'll first start by, hopefully you have the bolt and nut we just drew in your assembly mode. We're gonna now apply our first mate, which will be concentric. Go ahead and select the edges of the parts. Let's create a plane. If we go to reference geometry, we'll create a mid plane to do our section views. And with applying the section view and hitting normal to, you can see our threads do line up right on the money, which is what we are looking for. We'll now introduce the advanced screw mate to sync the pitches. We are now ready to apply the advanced screw mate. So we're gonna to go to our mates. 
interface. We're going to click mechanical and you'll see the screw option here. We'll do distance by revolution here and we're going to do our pitch value 1.5 millimeters. Now we can select the faces. So we're going to first select this thin bolt face on our bolt first. And then it's easier if we go and hide the bolt now to select the nut thread face, which will be this face here. Select OK. And to check if your thread teeth are lined up properly, you can always do the interference detection here to calculate. Let's go ahead and go to motion study. We're going to go and do a motor application linear for the component direction we're going to select this face here and it's asking us to select the component to move relative to of course the bolt we're going to back this off way down to one millimeter per second constant speed sure and that looks good we can drag this out to 10 seconds and calculate. Go ahead and play it. So now that you've seen both methods for creating the bolt threads, swept cut and the thread feature, which one is better? How do we compare them? Is one more accurate than the other? I mean, sure, the thread feature saves you time, but is the swept cut feature more customizable, perhaps a little bit more accurate? We're gonna ask ChatGPT what it thinks. Well, when asking ChatGPT which is better for modeling, swept cut versus thread feature, they spit out the following. The thread feature in SOLIDWORKS is generally considered the preferred method for modeling bolt threads as it provides more accurate and realistic results compared to using swept cut. And it lists some pretty decent reasons, accurate thread profile, exact thread profile pitch, etc. Parametric updates easily modify the thread parameters, which I agree with. Realistic rendering and visualization although swept cut does offer that as well compatibility with analysis and simulation so you can run simulations more easily and then again thread profile standardization easily switching between a the standards so it claims that the swept cut isn't as accurate or flexible which I tend to agree with overall the swept cut maybe it's more customizable on the profile but there's more room for error you're gonna spend more time creating it and it's gonna have more features involved in your feature tree which just to simplify things it's not good and the thread feature kills two birds in one stone less features less processing time, simpler, you get the idea. Comment below if you've been using any chat GPT functions in your SOLIDWORKS designs. The thread feature definitely will save you design time. I even asked chat GPT a SOLIDWORKS VBA macro for the thread feature and it spit out the following code, which is pretty neat. I haven't tried it yet, but again, comment if you've been 
customizing and generating any VBA macros with ChatGPT. I'd love to hear some. So a quick recap. We covered two methods to create the bolt threads, the swept cut feature, and the thread feature, which I think is the clear winner. Take advantage of that. And of course, we covered the advanced screw mate for the bolt nut assembly. I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you got something out of it, please like this video, subscribe to the channel for more SolidWorks content. I also have a SolidWorks Patreon. Go to patreon.com, how it's designed for more content. You're gonna love it. Link in the description. I've got a free SolidWorks guide for you. Take advantage of that, totally free. And I offer some awesome SolidWorks courses on my website, howitsdesigned.com. I'll link that in the description as well. There's a SolidWorks course in there for everyone. If you're looking to make money in freelancing, I got that too. So check it out, take advantage, boost your career in SolidWorks.